I was editing the podcast not long ago, and I don't know if you remember this, but in one of the intros, we had a conversation where you were talking about how you told your dad when you're eating a meal, like, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like this. And your dad said, I don't, I don't know what you like. No, no he said, why should I care yeah, what why? you like and don't yeah. like? That's yeah. Worth. But you, despite all of our little sibling rivalry have here, you know, I think you're a very funny guy. You did this voice on there or you're, you're, you're that age Conan telling your father what you like. Uh-huh. And I was editing and I was fucking rolling. What, Do you remember the, it was? I don't remember the voice. Father. Father. <laughs> Oh, oh, that guy. And what I really like to do is when I'm really doing a prissy young fellow, I like to say instead of father, the Latin pater. <laughs> oh, pater. Pater. Oh, and, I have a, and I have a little God. bell. A ding a ling 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 Pater. <laughs> yes, son, what is it? Mm, pater. <laughs> it should be clear now. I know I'm one of six and I'm in the middle. <laughs> But I think you'd know by now, I'm not a fan of half and half. I like 2%. Well, half and half is just a little too thick. But 2%, it gets it just right. It's not quite as mm, viscous, S-A-T word. You lousy punk. Oh, Pater. Don't get your, don't get your panties in a bunch, Pater. <laughs> Come here. Come here, I'll smash you. You have to catch me first. <laughs> I've got one of those old-timey bicycles with a giant front wheel. It's called a velocipede, or a penny farthing, if you will. I'm getting upon it right now, and you'll have to catch me. Whee! And then I'm zipping around the room. My father's in his lab coat trying to catch me. Come here, you creep. You lousy. Again, so that we don't forget, Pater. Two percent is on the money for me. One percent's too thin. Half and half's too thick. I love that the other five children are a hundred percent normal children, and you're the only one in that family who wears a little beanie. I will tell you a true story, which is this is an absolutely true story about uh, my brother Luke. We lived in Brookline, Massachusetts, and we would walk. There was this store that we would go to. Uh, it was like a small grocery and our parents would send us, my mom would send us on errands. Like, can you go get some hamburger? Can you get this? Can you get that? And the store was in this one area where these like, there were these tougher kids, like the Irish Catholic kids that played hockey, which my brother and I definitely were not. They were the ones that played hockey and they kind of knew those are those weird kids. Their father's like a scientist and they read. <laughs> and, they, uh, they, and I think we kind of stuck out and they thought we were strange. And so we were walking over. My brother Luke is very, very highly intelligent. He's really smart. And he was really mo- very precocious at that age and uh, much smarter than I was and still much smarter than I am. And we would, we walked down to Star Market one day and these tough kids came over and they kind of half surrounded us and they were sort of pushing us. And the thing to say, at least in our town in those days was if you wanted to say something negative about someone, you say, what are you, mental? And Luke actually said to them, well, mental is Latin and it implies of the mind. So that's kind of a compliment. Thank you very much. (laughs) Bam! (laughs) The beating that ensued lasted for 20 minutes. I was on your side till he said that. Yeah. Yeah. Summer's here. Of course, summer's the... Time for everything fresh. Let me list a few. Fresh air, refreshing vacations, and plenty of HelloFresh to liven up meals. That's where mm. I was going, HelloFresh. And with chef-crafted seasonal recipes, a new fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings you flavor right to your door. Yeah. Now's the peak time <laughs> for summer produce. HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long, delicious, fresh meals. Mmm. Well, make your home the place to be this summer. Pre-proportioned ingredients. It help cut down on food waste and time while step-by-step instructions make cooking a breeze, not a chore. HelloFresh combines quality and convenience <laughs> with ingredients, making it from 
the farm to your door in less than seven days. Sona, HelloFresh saved your life. I don't know if it saved my life. As a cook, you're a disaster on your own. But well, when HelloFresh is involved, it's fantastic. I didn't think that was the case. But yeah, I, I really liked HelloFresh. They sent me three meals. One was a chicken, one was a pork, and one mm-hmm. was a fish. Yeah, and fantastic. I crushed it. Yeah, and I remember going to your house once for dinner before you used HelloFresh. Uh-huh. And you served me one meatball on an ice cream cone. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not a meal. That's what HelloFresh did is it totally upped your game. Congratulations, Sona. That was a good meatball. Uh, no, I'm not sure that was meat. Anyway, <laughs> go to HelloFresh.com slash TeamCoco50 and use code TeamCoco50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's TeamCoco50 at HelloFresh.com slash TeamCoco50 for 50% off plus free shipping. America's number one meal kit. But uh, I mean, you know, oh, I do remember Luke. that. I know. And, you know, Luke, Luke weighed all of like 80 pounds and uh, I probably weighed 81 pounds and he was older than me, but he had like, I don't know, he had been a little sickly. So anyway, it was just absolutely. What do you do when your brother, do you just hide? Oh, I I think I said, I don't know him. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Even though we look identical. Yeah. You guys look so much alike. Yeah, people did think we were twins practically, but I was, I think I pretty much had a standard line, which is, I don't know this man. Um, <laughs> I'll help you hit him. And yes, if anyone gets tired hitting him, uh, I'm a pretty good hitter. Here's so, a stick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you don't have to use your fist. There's some rocks over here. That way you don't bruise your knuckles. And and then Luke, of course, at the bottom of the pile would say, well, rocks are actually <clears throat> more, uh, they're denser than the actual bone of a fist. So I think Conan's got a good point. You know, it, the Greeks believed. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you, mental? Well, Latin does Fabulous. imply, yes. And then I'd run home to tell my father, pater, pater. Some hooligans are thrashing Luke. What? Which one's Luke? Luke is the one one year older than I. But a year separates us. Of the six, he is two and I am three. Oh, Pater, what a thrashing he's taking. I don't have time to do anything about it. What am I supposed to do about it? I'm a microbiologist. Father, you say you're a microbiologist. Why do you sound like a prize fighter? <laughs> You lousy. By the way, did you pick up that 2%? <laughs> Not the time. Yeah. Oh, All right, man. God. Well, anyway, oh, a little. Glorious. Luke, I love you. Glory. You're still smarter and better than me, but man, <sighs> you shouldn't have whipped out that Latin in front of <laughs> those hockey players. <sighs> and for that, I mean, that's on you, man.